There it goes. Oh. All right. What's up? It's uh. What's today's date? The seventeenth. Yep. December seventeenth, twenty twenty-one. Boy Maddie Taipa. I'm with Alex. We are in this little spot that we've been going to a lot. Uh, it's in the woods. We're gonna show you like how long it takes to get there and. It's black. We literally just parked the car up there. Um, you have to like kind of hide the car and then come down here. Uh, I got the Phasm cam we're using right now from GoStop.com. We got it yesterday. I want to do a review of it. I used it earlier today to uh, to go in the tunnels of my studio. Um, it was pitch black. It looked great. The infrared looked cool and everything. But I did it. It, it was the middle of the day, even though it was pitch black. I mean, there is a ghost down there, but I haven't seen him in a while, so I just kind of wanted to give a test, you know, see how everything looked. I did it by myself. It was kind of kind of spooky. I've never had all the lights off and literally went all the way back there. I got locked in the bathroom for a second. It was kind of terrifying, but um, this is the real test right now to see how everything looks with the infrared. We really don't know how to use this camera yet, so I do want to do a review, but I don't want to like. I don't want to like sell them short. I mean, they put a lot into this camera and I think they did a pretty good job. There was a couple design issues that I wasn't really happy with, but the more I'm playing with it, it's definitely, uh, I think it's kind of cool. Like, you like that it's small, you said? Yeah, it's I kinda, think like, it's right really in. cool. I want it's not all bulky, like, you know, when you were explaining it to me, like, I just had a picture in my head, like, oh, it's gonna I be had, like I had some a picture big in my head that it was gonna be like the size camera. of a, a normal, well, I thought it was gonna be like a normal, like digital camera like I have a Sony digital camera like normal one that your like girlfriend would use if she goes out you know what I mean like a the picture know, like, is actually really good it's, it's 10, my hand was kind of over it and then I moved my hand and now I can like see you perfectly it's, it's definitely high quality I thought it was gonna be and I have like another I have an infrared camera that someone made in infrared that I'm probably gonna want to went and freeze you to be honest because this has so what does it have it has it's a uh, night vision it has infrared it has ultraviolet, it has a whole bunch of different kinds of light uh, like settings like blue, I think there's cyan, there's a yellow one, there's a green one. I don't know what that shit means or how, why would you use the blue light, why would you use the yellow one. I don't know yet, this shit is still not familiar to me and we have to play with it a little bit more and have to, you know, do a little bit more research on it, you know, so that's what I'm saying, I don't want to just go ahead and give my opinion too soon before I know the camera inside and out but I will say that it how's it, how's it look oh well, it's perfect take a dude. Look. yeah it looks nice I yeah mean, it does surprisingly for how small it is and compact like the picture is the picture is actually so, like really good so the camera itself is two hundred dollars the, uh, the thousand cam and then the light sells separately for a hundred dollars and they're they're magnetized so they kind of connect with each other and they're very powerful magnets like they kind of like really like slap on there you know what i mean like so other ghosts on. other ghost hunters are using this particular camera or i mean it's it's just it's the most popular ghost hunting site it's called ghostop.com yeah like they even have their own boxes and stuff like they sent it to me they have their own little logo i mean they're definitely like a very popular site and they they had a, a, a design before this it was a, a silver one it wasn't well i think with the money from that they did this and they did a good job like i said i don't want to i don't want to knock it i don't want to just be like oh i'm mad it was small i just thought it was going to be like this big you know what i mean like the size of a normal camera yeah it's literally so i just did a video with my buddy idolon for a um every week we do a song breakdown with maddie cypher this is it right here we do a song breakdown with Maddie Saipo where we talk about one of my songs and I use my Canon and I put it on a tripod. Now it's a big, normal, bulky Canon, like a real fancy one. It was like 700 bucks, 800 bucks, something like that. And the screen on the Canon is a little bit, oh shit, I just saw a red light bulb. Really? A, a, a red light thing over there. The screen on the Canon is larger than that camera. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. it's tiny, it's a lot smaller. I don't know if it was, from out there, but I saw something. Yeah, I didn't see none. I was just kind of focusing on the. Oh, on you. See out here, yeah, I see a bunch of like lights oh, yeah, that could have yeah, been yeah, messing yeah. with your eyes. Saw that. 
We have we've been here what, like ten times now? Yeah. And we haven't had anything happen. No, yet. I've never seen any activity here. No, we haven't really had anything happen. How's it look at all the graves? Good, I can see them all perfectly. Alright, so we're here. We're giving it the test. Let's do what we did the other day, but we came here the other like we we came here maybe what? Four or five days ago with Joe? No, it was about a, a week, week ago. ago. Yeah, a week ago? definitely. Our buddy Joe came with us. I went. I took him to the um. His car broke down, and we had to go to upstate New York to get it. And he gave me some gas money. I was like, yeah, I'll take you, no doubt. So we saw a wolf cross the street. No a fucking shit. wolf, bro. Are you it wasn't serious? A it wasn't a coyote. It, it was, was a wolf? wolf. It was a big ass. Cause they're, they're like supposed to be hybrids. Yeah, I saw but, one in Connecticut. A wolf coyote hybrid. Yeah, so it was huge. Bro. Yeah, they're the beautiful. Time, they're fucking beautiful it was animals. The second time I saw one, we saw one like near. I right saw on one on Woodward the, Avenue a few years ago. I think it was the, beautiful. Um, near the New York border, we were like way up there, and then on the way back, I'm going to Mr. Freeze's house after this. Freeze lives near that cemetery that you know the trail that we went down the mountain that i took you that yeah one time? that crazy place yeah, he, he lives the over there i went with him about two weeks ago and then i took joe there the other day and me and joe went just me and joe we went in there with nothing we didn't know we were going ghost hunting so we didn't have any cameras any flashlights we just went pitch black raw dog and just hung out for a while i might wind up going there again tonight because it's close to freeze's house and now i want to try this shit and i think the moon is full yeah and it's supposed to be haunted on a full moon so enough of that though we're here let's focus on the present that we got going on let's stop let's, let's see if we get on um... is there anyone with us tonight can you please make a branch break I got the chills for a second. Do you hear kind of like a thumpy sound? No, I don't hear nothing. Is there anyone here? Last week when we came, it just had snowed. The whole ground was illuminated. Still not really as dark as I thought it would be. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we got the moon like right, right over us. What? The moon is right over us, so it's going to illuminate. I mean, with the snow, it was really... Oh, yeah, dude. You didn't even need a flashlight. I've been to Barra Hack in the snow, bro. You don't need a flashlight either. I wrote, I wrote that in my book. Whenever you go ghost hunting in the snow, you don't need a flashlight. But we went, we went and got chased out by coyotes like me and you did. Yeah. I got chased out by coyotes like three times at Barra Hack. Yeah, last time we went, we heard the coyotes and it was just me and you. I'm like, dude, I think, it's, I think we should turn around. funny because the dude who told me about this place it's a it's a big big turtle guy he has nothing to do he found out i'm friends with him on on instagram and he found out that i i do this that i'm a, a ghost hunter and he asked me if i've ever been here and i'm like i don't think he, he described the place to me and i said i don't think so and he literally like took a screenshot of a map and he circled where to go and the route to get here and that was a couple years ago i was dating this girl named jaji that's uh she was a black chick, Ecuadorian, Brazilian, and uh, she, I came here with her in the daytime to check it out, just because I wanted to see it, and that was 2018, so I've been coming here for about three or four years now, and uh, yeah, maybe 17, I don't remember, but like three or four years I've been coming here, and uh, I've been here about 10 times, me and you come here a lot because it's not too far from your house. And uh, nothing's really happened in that I haven't had any experiences here whatsoever. But he told me that he came here with Lorraine Warren and she infested it with demons. Now, I'm not going to shit on the Warrens. That's a whole other video in itself. You know, especially I don't, I, they're, they're both dead. I don't want to, whatever. But I mean, you know, she kind of, they kind of infested everything with demons. You know what I'm saying? Like, every, every she, Hookman's is infested with demons. This place is infested with demons. Yeah, I've been doing this shit. I probably have gone ghost hunting. Now, the Warrens have probably done more casework than me, but I did the math. 
on how many times I went. It was an average of once every nine days for 10 years in my ghost uh, journals that I, I tell them off from 2010 to 2021, all the times I've went, I don't think anyone, not the Warrens, not John Zaffis, not Donna Kent, not anyone has went out as much as I did. And they're, they're doing casework. They're like big time paranormal investigators. So they're going to people's houses where they know it's haunted and doing stuff like that. I'm going to cemeteries and just hanging out on a fucking Wednesday with my boy Alex or my boy Joe or my boy Anthony or my boy Ron or whoever and just going for the fuck of it, looking for shit. I don't think anyone has gone out to the extent of I have and like, in, in that amount of time, I've smelt sulfur, which is a demonic entity, maybe twice. Oh, shit. Oh, all right. I've smelt sulfur maybe like twice. And, um, and then any other kind of time that there was a demonic entity present was prior to 2010. It was in my Phosmophobia book, the first book. It was at Barra Hack, and it was at Hookman's. And those two were completely separate from the from the ghost journals on. Nothing happened. Like I, there's a you know I saw the white lady of Whirlwind Hill Road. I saw the green lady of Burlington. A whole bunch of ghostly shit happened, but we never.